This is the Horse Radio Network. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1410, brought to you by Wintech Saddles. Today's tip features Dr. Tanya Cubitt from Performance Horse Nutrition with the latest and most interesting research on what really causes choke and some management tips to help reduce the risk. And we'll get right to our tip after we hear from our sponsor, Wintech Saddles. You and your horse can enjoy all the benefits of a lightweight, splash-proof, durable, and easy-care Wintech saddle. Featuring world-leading innovation for your horse's comfort and performance, the care cushion system, and the revolutionary Easy Change Fit solution. It's easy to see that Wintech is as serious about your performance as you are. Whether simply enjoying time together with your horse or competing at any level, there's a model in the range for you. Stop by your local retailer and have a sit in a Wintech saddle or find out more about the new and improved Wintech Specialist Confirmation Saddles at WintechSaddles.us. That's WintechSaddles.us. We're commonly asked about choke. And oh, um, my rec- recourse to choke and when people say, oh, my horse choked on pellets or it choked on non-soaked beet bulb or alfalfa cubes, it really doesn't have anything to do with how uh, what horses are eating, but more to do with how they're eating. If horses eat fast, they have a much higher tendency to choke. And I always recommend do anything you can to slow them down. One of the things I recommend is to feed hay first. Um, So a group actually looked at, does feeding hay first slow down eating? Now, other groups have looked at rate of passage throughout the digestive tract, but this was actually looking at just the consumption time. So they fed either hay and then either pellets or textured feed. And after 20 minutes of the horses eating the hay, they offered them the pelleted or textured feed. Or they fed a pellet or textured and then gave them the hay afterwards. And they, mm-hmm. they measured the time that it took to consume the grain concentrate. And greatly, rate of concentrate intake, whether it be pellet or textured, was slower if they fed hay first. I think it just calms the horse down. You know, he's really hungry, he's excited about getting fed, mm-hmm. but I start to nibble on my hay, my belly feels a little full. Okay, that you know, stress of being hungry has gone down a little bit, so I'm just going to take my time. But interestingly, if you took away the feeding hay and you just looked at, um, you know, the, so the hay and pellets or textured, if we looked at those two groups, when you fed hay first and then pellets, that was slightly faster than hay than fed textured. So the type, the form of the concentrate also um, can change rate of consumption. So textured feed is a little slower to consume. So when people say, oh, my horse chokes on pellets, it's not because they're pellets, but more because they're eating them a lot faster. So it's more about that rate of intake and also time of day. If horses have been stuck in a stall overnight, that first meal of the day, they may be more inclined to eat faster versus being a lot of our horses get turned out during the daytime or depending on the season, uh, what your turnout schedule is. But after they've been out at pasture all day and constantly grazing, they usually eat a little slow when they come in because they're not so stressed about having to eat. Right. They're not, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Yeah. Especially in the summertime when they've been stuffing themselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I did a little anecdotal study with uh, one of my clients up in New England and they've actually changed their feeding practices because of it. What we should, they have, um, horses out in fields and then also some horses in the barn. So they used to feed the horses in the field and feed the horses in the barn. And by the time they got to the barn, the horses are all very stressed. So now what they do is they feed the hay to the horses in the barn, then go out, feed all the horses in the field, come back, feed the grain to the horses in the barn. And it seems to be working a lot better for them. The horses are less aggressive. They're not kicking the stall doors as much, you know, all those kind of bad behaviors that we want to avoid. Yeah. Good idea. And it's, It can be inconvenient. It really can because, you know, you have that certain percentage of horses that bang on the buckets and do all that other kind of thing, despite the fact that you've given them their hay first. But Mm. um, we used to you we used to have a kind of a 30 minute window. You had to wait 30 minutes after you gave them their morning hay before they were allowed to have grain. 
And we seem to see that that is yeah. like a, a typical amount of time yeah. that, that some people wait. So I think that's why they did the 20 minutes to test yeah. because we, if people do do it, about 20 to 30 minutes was a fairly standard amount of time people were waiting. So, you know, so. Get, get, get to work a half an hour late, folks. Go ahead and do it that way. And that about wraps it up for today. Thanks again to Wintech Saddles for sponsoring today's show. You can also follow Wintech Saddles on Facebook, by the way. Just search Wintech Saddles. This is Coach Jen, and I will be back again soon with another tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. <music>